Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game, man. All right, man. Just uh, basically <laughs> been just listening to a lot of videos about this Andre Ward, Canelo Alvarez uh, potential fight, which me, myself, I'm not convinced it's going to happen. I'm just not convinced. I just think it'll be a lot of things that would have to just uh, come to fruition to make this fight happen. You know, just a lot of things. And as far as Andre Ward go, another reason why I know Andre Ward and Canelo probably more than likely isn't going to have it because Andre Ward is not going to just let Canelo just dictate and ba basically try to punk him in negotiations. You know, at the end of the day, I like either of these fake boxing fans because it's kind of funny, you know, when Floyd would say he the A side and and Floyd would never try to burn people in negotiations like Canelo do. Floyd didn't have no rehydration clause in in in, in his fight with Canelo, and like I said before, Canelo came in at like 151 for a Trout, or about the same weight. So how was he weight drained? You know, like I said, people just want to make up shit. And then it's funny, like I said before, people go out of their way to discredit uh, the fighters that look like me. But then they want full praise for Canelo putting stipulation after stipulation in, in his contracts. And like I said before, ask Sergey Kovalev how tough it is to negotiate with Andre Ward or Donna Stevenson and a few other people, Chad Dawson. Andre Ward is not going to let Canelo punk him in negotiations. So Canelo is, is in for a rude awakening if he think he's going to be able to just handicap Canelo, I mean, excuse me, Andre Ward, to the fact that where Andre Ward doesn't st stand a chance to win. Because if this fight is on the up and up, um, Ward beats the hell out of Canelo. And Ward is going to go into that fight with bad intentions. See, you might see a Chad Dawson performance from Andre Ward. See, the thing was, Andre Ward was determined to knock, to, to knock Chad Dawson out, and he did. And I think Andre Ward is going to go in there. He going to be like, uh-uh, uh-uh. No judges is going to dictate the terms of this fight. See, Andre Ward is a smart man. He knows that when he fights Canelo or if he fights Canelo, as soon as the bell ring, he's already down three rounds. Okay? We already know that. So Andre Ward is going to go in there and he's going to beat the hell out of Canelo. He going to beat the hell out of him. He going to beat him to the point to where the referees ain't going to be able to remotely try to screw Andre Ward out of the fight. But the fight ain't is it going to go the distance? Andre Ward, too big, too strong, too too smart for Canelo. And like I said before, Canelo ain't going to be able to just, like, you know, finesse Andre Ward in negotiations. And then I think, one, a fight of this magnitude, you're going to see other people get involved. Let's just say they're really deep into negotiations you might see Floyd get involved or you might see Bob Arum get involved and Floyd is going to make sure to his best ability that fight is on the up and up because Floyd do got a lot of influence in in Las Vegas just as much as Oscar De La Hoya probably more because Floyd then made Las Vegas a lot of money so Floyd is going to have some some influence if he decides to get involved which he will or Bob Arum and you already know the type of pool Bob Arum got so I don't see Canelo being able to just like strictly be able to dictate the terms to the fullest this might be be the fight that you actually see Floyd get involved and help Andre Ward I think Floyd should have been tried to sign Andre Ward to Mayweather promotions. But I guarantee you they're going to be some third parties or second parties involved in this fight because this fight is just too big to be on just the zone. You're going to see Fox probably pop up. You're going you, you to see Showtime possibly pop up. This fight is not going to land strictly on the zone. So that's why I'm saying 
for this fight to happen, a lot of shit would have to like fall in place. So I don't see it happening. I'm just keeping it 100. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.